Alright, welcome to Tap the Wire. It's week 7. Hope you're doing well. I'm pretty happy so far. I can't believe we're already 7 weeks in. It's almost June already. You can all-star breaks just around the corner in a month or two. Uh, so let's dive in. Uh, first guy, and owned in only 80% of leagues, is Leonis Martin. Uh, he's recorded a hit in 6 straight games. And he's easily on pace for double-digit steals and home runs. Uh, he's hit three bombs in his last five games, and he's not going to continue hitting home runs at the rate he has been. But if you need steals, you know, and a, a little bit of power, he's definitely a guy to look at. I know I, uh, I, I actually added him over Mabin, although both of them are pretty interesting. Uh, second is Mike Leak, who's owned in 40% in Yahoo, 38.4% ESPN. Uh, really rough early season for him, but he's gone 3-0 with a .86 ERA in his last three starts. Still doesn't get you a bunch of Ks, but he's good innings eater, and he's hot right now, so might want to take a look at him. Uh, Nathan Carnes is owned in 32% of leagues. He's averaging over a strikeout per inning this year. His numbers, looking at him, his ground ball, fly ball rate, uh, strikeouts and everything, it's almost identical to his 2015 stats, and I feel like he's a little underrated. Uh, he definitely should be owned in 32. You know, not owned in all leagues, but 50% sounds about right. And you got Alex Wood, who's owned in 45% of leagues. He had 13 Ks in six innings against the Friars. Of course, the Padres strike out a ton, but uh, he made an adjustment three starts ago, and it seems to have been working. Uh, he's had a whip lower than one in his last three starts, and he gets you more than a K per inning. So, uh, definitely a guy that should be owned in more leagues. I, I would say 70-75% of leagues should have Alex Wood. Um, I actually just added him in a couple leagues over Matt Moore, who has struggled. Um, still not totally out on Wood, but uh, on Moore, but I would take Alex Wood over Matt Moore. Number five is Matt Whistler, who's only owned in 18% of leagues. He has a sub-3 ERA and a .98 whip so far. I mean, obviously, he's not going to give you wins because he's on the worst team in the history of teams. But he's definitely a good guy to add. You know, he'll eat innings and give you pretty good ratios for your week. And now it's time for... The watch list. So get out those binoculars. I'm um, Randall Gritchick. He's been struggling all season. Uh, he's owned and over 50% of the leagues just barely right now. But if he hits the wire, definitely got to look at. I mean, still been a struggle, but I'm still not totally out on him. Uh, Jorge Soler has gotten a hit uh, in the four out of his last five games, including one home run. Uh, I think he was only 27% of the leagues, but he's definitely a guy to watch because I didn't think he would be this bad. And then just kind of a... Uh, curveball, uh, Singwon O. Oh. I mean, if you if you have holes in your league, he's already owned. His ratios are insane, especially the strikeouts. But you know, Rosenthal um, hasn't had a lot of save situations lately. But when they bring him in to give him work, he's been pretty bad. Um, and I think Songhan O oh would be uh, next man up. Uh, I mean, Kevin Segrist is also in that mix. Uh, but definitely a, a closer situation to watch as most closer situations are settling down a little bit. Um, he could be the next guy replaced if Rosenthal continues to struggle, but Matheny will probably give him a long leash. Uh, so that's it for the ads this week. Hope you do well for Fantasy 8. I'm Andrew, and thanks for watching.